Hey everybody, welcome back to MicroBeerReviews.com. Brand new from Victory Brewing Company. This is a new uh, six pack of cans I came out with called their Vital IPA. It says the only IPA you need uh, with their tagline. Um, I give them a lot of credit. Victory Brewing Company does a lot of things very well. I love this brewery. They do um, Hop, Hop Ranch, <clears throat> which is one of their seasonal IPAs. I can't wait till it comes out. It's October. It should come out in December. Um, it was in our top 2014 beers. Um, I tell you that because I love IPAs. I love when breweries uh, try to do things very, very well with a specific flavor. So this one is the IPA um, that they are now kind of did a little, re little bit of research trying to bring it to the mainstream so this ip is styled to be a powerhouse of flavor and impressions but is it vital to you uh what commands your taste is attention we packed it with a uh, full of fresh crisp and fruity notes driven with whole flower american hops robust german malts you'll find it bright delightfully aromatic complex Leaving you with a dry, spicy satisfaction. Taste victory in these flavors that are vital to your senses. So I typically am very critical with descriptions, and I would call that flat-out boring. But um, American hops, robust German malts, crisp, full finish, fruity notes. We'll see what that all means. Uh, but the beauty of this beer, and the reason I bought it, and want to review it, it's got Simcoe, Citra, and Chinook hops. Some of the most uh, common, the most popular hops on the market today. ABVs are 6.5%. Uh, what else can I tell you? It, uh, it's supposed to have piney tropical fruit notes, stone fruits with an intense yet refreshing flavor with a light-bodied golden IPA. So... Tons of description, but I will say yet again, Victory is one of my favorite uh, breweries on the planet. Dirt Wolf they created, which I think is one of the top two, if not three, double IPAs ever produced on the market. So, awesome can. It's got this insanely um, uh, detailed uh, verbiage all over the can. Vital IPA. I love this top little red rim on it. I paid $11 for the six pack of cans. So let's pour it in a glass. See what we smell like, taste like, and see if it was worth it. So, very, very filtered, crystal, almost crystal clear, very light uh, color to it. There's n What's interesting, actually, there's actually a little bit of like kind of I don't know if it's, it was in the glass or not but it's got a little bit of kind of some flaky stuff coming up <sighs> smells very corn that would that would be the way very 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 sweet almost boring aroma to it oh, it's, 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 now this is disappointing because Chinook Simcoe hops, Citra hops. I expected a whole lot more banging aroma to it, but the, the aroma is pretty boring, actually. Um, it's crystal clear on the uh, on the uh, look there. So lots of carbonation, tons of carbonation. The 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 head is very very light, very. Um, it's not dense at all, but. Oh, man, I expected more than that. Um, that's not very exciting. It's um, it's kind of boring on the aroma. I, I'm searching for something, but I can't. So, um, we have this huge, white, frothy, foamy head. Uh, let's get into it and see what it tastes like. Okay. Hmm. Number two. This is what I would call your classic 
very piney. Um, it literally tastes like pine needles. Um, very dry finish, dissipates extremely quickly. Um, a lot of people would call this that classic West Coast style IPA. Um, it's got nice hot flavor to it, but it's subtle. It's extremely dry, so it dissipates extremely, um, I keep saying extremely, but quickly um, in your palate. It, there's not, the aroma's awful. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll give them almost an F for the aroma. There's almost no aroma at all. Um, but the flavor has got this very kind of subtle uh, aroma, uh, hotness to it, and it dissipates almost instantaneously, but it's more piney than anything. It's extremely filtered, which lends to a um, easy to drink beer, but the carbonation is just absolutely insane. Um, and I did not pour that beer very fast, so. Um, I love the, I love, I'm not even taking another <laughs> sip. I love, I love the brewery. I love what they're trying to do. They're trying to get into the IPA market even more other than Dirt Wolf and all the other beers they have with uh, Hop Ranch. They have so many others. Um, I think what they're trying to do is kind of break into that mediocre market where people are trying to get into IPAs, into craft brewing companies. Um, try this out. It's vital. Great name. I love the name. I can't believe it's not already been coined. Um, this is not a vital IPA, in my opinion. I would probably give this a 2 um, on a rating scale between 1 and 5. I won't buy this again. Um, I, I wish I would. I love, the, I love the brewery. I've said this at least 8 times on this video, but this is just not something that is in my wheelhouse at all. It's, um, it's boring. It's kind of flat in terms of its, its uh, characteristics. Uh, it's something that it, it's... It's just got too much going on that's not hitting on any cylinders at all, as they would say in the South. So, two. Sorry. Uh, $11 for the six pack. Thanks for watching microbeerreviews.com. Let us know what you think. Please tell me if I'm totally way off, but I'm not feeling this one at all. Um, on Facebook, on Twitter, we upload all the time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you like it. See you again real soon. Cheers.